box sets. Box sets. And yes, more box sets. Yes, I'm going to show you guys. You probably like the new little camera angle here. Well, I figure, you know, I can uh, switch around, you know, when I do my videos uh, here and there. I'll probably have to move a little closer here so I can get a good shot, probably. Uh, but yeah, I was going to show you guys, uh, do a quick little video on some of the box sets that I own and uh, show you, you might have some of these boxes in your collections too, but I figure, what the hell, I have the time. I mean, it's only like 2 o'clock in the morning on a Friday night, Saturday morning, so hey, why don't we get started? I have the complete, we start with the complete Beavis and Butthead season, or series, uh, volume 1. Volume 2, and, and, hold on here, thank God for editing, the whole series of Beavis and Butthead, that's some of the stuff I have, let's see what else I got here, Revenge of the Nerds box set, uh, all four uh, Revenge of the Nerds movies, including the uh, fourth one, which is called, let's see, Nerds in Love, and this is the one with the uh, 3D uh, scene. You remember back in the day when 7-Eleven did the, uh, well, they were showing this on Fox, and did the 7-Eleven did the promo for this, and you could get 3D glasses because there's a 3D scene in here. I remember that too. And I think it was like also a scr uh, scratch and sniff, if I remember correctly. All right. I also have the complete first season of In Living Color, followed by the complete first season of The Bernie Mac Show, which, sadly enough, because you figure after Bernie Mac passed away, that they would release the, the other four seasons, but they never did, and I don't know if they ever will. I know you can get, like, uh, cheaper versions of the whole series on uh, certain uh, DVD sites or whatever, but it'd be nice if they released uh, the rest of the series on DVD. It was a very funny show. I enjoyed it. Would we'll love to see more of it. It's funny, I never followed the show when it came out. But when I, right when I saw it on DVD, and, and this is before Bernie Mac passed away, I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a try. The other box that I have, uh, I have these I probably showed earlier in September, maybe. I don't remember when I showed these, but I know I showed these before. The complete Police Academy box, the complete series. You ain't, a, you ain't a fan of the 80s or early 90s unless you have the uh, entire Police Academy box set. And next, we also have the Nightmare on Elm Street, the complete seven movie box set of all the Nightmare on Elm Street movies. And of course, I also have the Freddy vs. Jason movie too, but that's in another box set. That's in that Jason box set that I've already shown already. But it's nice, just, you know, custom black or whatnot. Scary print of... Uh, uh, Freddy Krueger out here. It's very, very exciting. You know, I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's just very cool. Now you probably wondered, some of you wonder, what else do I have in my collection that makes my box set so great? Well, I tell you what, I have the complete Mr. Bean series, which is a, something I, I should start watching again. I haven't watched it in a while. Uh, it's still in good condition like it was when I first got it. It's the whole series, and it, uh, has some bonus features and all that too, but it has every every episode of the series. And it's hard to believe there's only 14 episodes, but when you include the two movies and all the stuff that Rowan Atkinson did in his uh, UK UK career, oh boy. And I also have, I also have, let's see, which one's this now? I want to make sure this is right. I have the... Mr. Bean, the animated series, which includes uh, six DVDs of all the cartoons. I got this one, I got this one, and I got this one. It's probably mixed max order, but it's still a great uh, series. I bought this last year, and I tell you what, I don't regret it. 
It's a great collection to have for any Mr. Bean fan. For you Alvin and the Chipmunk fans, I have the Alvin Chipmunk's classic holiday gift set of uh, some of the episodes and whatnot. The Chipmunk Christmas, Alvin's Thanksgiving celebration, and Trick or Treason. And uh, I have yet to open the, the, the movies, but uh, I got the first series, first season pretty much of uh, uh, Chip and Dale, Rescue Rangers, and the first season of DuckTales. It's kind of beat up a little bit, but uh, uh, I've had it for quite a while, so yeah, it's, it's still in good condition, somewhat anyway. The discs are anyway, which that's pretty much what matters, but it's packaged pretty much the same way. I got the Wayne's World box set, the uh, Wayne's World 1 and 2. It's funny they never, you know, made a part 3 or even made a cartoon, you know, out of it. You figure they probably would, but they never did. But such a great series. I also have the Jurassic Park series. Once you open this up, it's a box set. I'm not going to take the box set out, but inside this is what it looks like. If you like dinosaurs, if you like a good dinosaur movie, Jurassic Park. This only cost me at the time. I think maybe $13 for all three movies. And I got it mostly because I've never seen the series before and because I like the packaging. It looks just like going to a rainforest kind of thing. I also have the complete first and second season of Perfect Strangers, which I got over a year ago. Good stuff. I'm still waiting for season three and four and five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think they went only nine. I'm still waiting for the rest of the series to come out anyway. So hopefully they'll, they'll allow it. Hopefully that will happen. I know that, uh, well, I got the first season of uh, Spin City. I know I've shown this before. Second season comes out sometime this month. Uh, great series, great show. Gotta love Spin City. And of course, I got, you know, for anybody that wants to learn about cooking or learn about food in general, I have the Good Eats with Alton Brown. Uh, just learn about certain uh, food too, like pretzels, hard soft, uh, soft pretzels, hard pretzels, mustard, uh, popcorn. I mean, you learn about everything. How to make a quick cottage cheese. You know, Alton Brown, he's a good guy. He knows what he's talking about. And finally, the last box that I'm going to show you guys is something that I know a, a buddy of mine has who lives in Florida, but the America's Funniest Comedian series of, uh, all these popular comedians like Tim Allen and Jeff Foxman and whatnot, before they were stars, or even when they were stars, but mostly when they were trying to break into business. And this stuff I like because for a lot of times, you know, they don't show as much, you know, like where you were or where these people were before they started their careers or, or became really famous. And they were, most of these people were working in clubs, you know, nightly before they ever got famous. So it's pretty amazing what, what uh, this has on here. Anyway, hopefully you weren't too bored, and if you want, do me a favor. First of all, send me some comments on what you thought of the video, and, and secondly, if you want, I'd like to see all my viewers, all my subscribers that subscribe to me. Uh, I want to see you guys' DVD collection too. Don't be afraid to show it. I'm sure you guys got something great too. You might even have something in common. We might even have something in common. But uh, anyway, I'm Frankie Slauson. We'll see you for another great video. Uh, whatever.